Well, welcome to our very first Thursday Tech Tips. Uh, today's tip is in response to uh, our devotion this morning at our, at our faculty devotions. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a form that can be a space for students to submit prayer requests or ask questions, either by name or anonymously. So, there are four parts to this. The first is going to be creating the form. The second will be creating a shortened URL. The third part will be viewing your responses that students submit. And then the last will be posting this on to Google Classroom. If you look down in the description below, you can skip ahead to any of those parts. The time is down there for when those start. So first, creating the form. You'll need to be on your Google Drive, and once you're there, you can click on New, and then we'll need to go down to More to get to Google Forms. Now once you're on Google Forms, you may want to call this Questions and Prayer Requests, or something along those lines. The title's up to you. And I'm going to leave these boxes as they are. I think that's best for the type of form we're creating here. So my first question, I'm just going to change that to a text question. And the question is simply, what is your name? The help text is going to be really important because we want to leave the option to be anonymous here. I am not going to make that a required question because I said they could leave it blank. So, done with that, and I'm going to add one more item. I'm going to make this question paragraph text. So it invites a little more response. So, just ask what is your question or prayer request? I'm going to make that a required question so I don't get any blank submissions. And I'm just going to click Done. So to make sure we like how that looks, I'm just going to click on View Live Form. And here I can proofread it as well. It's really short. It looks good to me. I'm going to X out of that. And now I'm going to click on this blue button called Send Form. Now we're going to work on getting the link and making it shorter so it's something that if you wanted to you could post in your classroom somewhere and it'd be real easy for a student to type in that web address that would get them directly to the live form. So this is the link to your form right here and I'm going to copy that and now I'm going to use a tool called a URL shortener. Google has its own and the website for that is goo.gl. Once you're there, you can click on sign in up here if you don't see your name up here, and it should sign you into your school Google account, and it will just save the URLs you've shortened in the past. So I'm going to paste that long URL here, and as you can see, it is pretty long, way too much to write on the board, and I'm going to click shorten URL. And now it spits out this nice short URL that I could post, especially if I got rid of the HTTP colon backslash backslash or forward slash, whatever that is. I'm going to copy that. Now I have a URL to, to use. So something that might be helpful to you is here I'm going to show you how to get your responses. So first, let's just check to make sure this shortened URL works. I've copied that, so I'm going to paste it into my browser here. And it takes me to that form that I just created. So I'm going to choose to include my name. Hopefully, students take your question box a little more seriously than this, but if they don't, you're really the only one that will know. 
I'm going to click Submit. And so I've just submitted the first question to the form I created earlier. So let me X out of there. Here's how you will view responses. I'm going to go back to the form. This is now saved on my Google Drive. I'll need to move it into a folder later if I want to access it more easily. But I could search for this. If it were weeks later, questions and prayer requests, this would come up. And I'm going to click on the responses key here. And I'm going to click on view responses. And once this loads up, you should see that I will have my first request right here. And so if you're keeping track of which questions you've answered, you can uh, highlight this row and choose a fill color, something like this. And that will tell you you've already covered that question or however you would like to do that is, uh, is fine. But that's how you access the questions that students might submit or their prayer requests. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to post to Google Classroom, what I think is the most effective way. So I'm already on the About section, but let's just go back to this page. This is my uh, computer applications Google Classroom page. I'm going to go to the About section, and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says Add Materials. And I'm just going to call this Most likely you'll have introduced this to students so they'll know what that means and why it's there. And I have a link still copied from the URL shortener that I'll paste right there. And now I need to click on Add and click Post. And there I have my form linked right here. So if I click on that, it takes me to the live form. So there it is, a way to give your students an opportunity to ask questions and submit prayer requests that you can respond to at a time of your choosing. A spare moment in class, you can follow up with them personally through an email, might even work. But hopefully you found that useful. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions.